Well, your voice, your vote coverage tonight, no matter uh, who wins Spokane City Council, we will have a new president after the November election. And uh, Ben Stuckert, we talked to last night in my one-on-one -on -one interview with the candidates this week. And tonight we have Dennis Hessian. Uh, Dennis, thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure. Thank Appreciate you. that. Now, uh, topping, uh, well, what I wanted to talk to you about tonight is your opponent, Ben Stuckert. Now, I just need to say that uh, you're the candidate with experience in this race. You have been the president of the city council. You've been Spokane mayor. But the Spokesman newspaper endorsed a political newcomer, Stuckert. Why do you think so? Well, I, they obviously made a mistake. <laughs> uh, I, uh, the, the thing that, uh, that is important to me uh, about my experience is that um, w when you're a, a candidate for an office like the city council president, you have to remember that you have to, you have to be a, a council member first. Mm -hmm. Uh, not only training and helping other council members, but you are an active voting member of the city council. Uh, and that's a big job to learn how to do uh, even without being the council president. Mm -hmm. And uh, so uh, the, uh, what, what I say is that it, it's important to have that experience before you be a council president uh, because you're, you're there to, to share your experiences and share your knowledge and wisdom uh, with the other council members uh, to, uh, to make them, make the group have you know make good decisions sure, sure you say public safety is your number one priority what is uh, your response to the Spokane Police Department announcing recently that it was going to uh, only investigate five percent of property crimes in Spokane well we, it, it, you they've always been um, challenged in sure, terms in of area. getting that area right. because uh, patrol first and then traffic are the two top highest priorities 911 calls and traffic sure. are always a higher priority I, I felt like it was very unfortunate to announce that publicly Mm -hmm. um, it isn't that they're not investigating those crimes, but they're certainly putting less emphasis on it. Um, bad choice of, uh, of publicity, I thought. Uh, but they're, they're doing some good work. Uh, there was a task force that recently had very good success up in the Northwest District, uh, captured a, a big ring of, uh, of uh, uh, people who were burglarizing homes and, and cars. Uh, so they're still around doing good work. Mm -hmm. It's just that the publicity was a, a, a bad choice. Well, you oppose new fees and new taxes. I do. Uh, how do you plan to balance the city's budget, which is $8 million uh, in the red? And by the way, the mayor who was going to announce this week what that new budget is now won't do it until the day before the election. Uh, this, what is, I, this is after many people have already cast their ballots. Yes, that's for sure. I, I, what I would say is that the, the, the approach I take to budgeting is not the approach that the, that the, uh, that the city council or the city ha has taken in the past mm -hmm. and it takes now. And that is, just like you do in your home budget, you decide how much you're going to earn and then you create, you spend what you think you can earn. Mm -hmm. And with the city, we decide how much we want to spend and then we try to go out and find the resources to, to fill it in. Uh, that's just a, a wrong way to approach it. So uh, I, I don't say we're $8 million in the hole. Uh, mm -hmm. We just don't have a good handle on the, the amount of revenues that we're going to earn. Once you have that, then you establish the expenses that you can afford uh, to, uh, to be able to provide the services that people want. And it isn't easy to do that, but what, you do, what we have to do is we have to challenge our employees and challenge our departments to, use, to, to, to be able to live within the, the resources that they're being given. Until we are able to say to our citizens, we have used the resources you've already given us in the most productive and efficient way, I'm not willing to ask them for any more money. Dennis, we have 30 seconds left, and I'd like to ask uh, this question. Uh, would you be able to work with Mayor Verner if she is reelected? The two of you had a very contentious race four years ago for mayor. Yeah. And a lot of people have asked me that question. Yeah. And, and uh, early on, uh, um, Mary Verner and I had a, a very good meeting together and talked that through uh, just because we knew everybody would have a question sure. about whether she could work with me or I could work with right. her. And it worked out very well. We, we uh, have a, a lot of mutual respect. We're both professionals and uh, we, uh, we know that it will work just fine. All right. Dennis Hessian, thanks so much for joining us tonight.